Hello everybody! Today I am going to be taking you through all of the things that get me through the summertime. This is going to be my summer essentials video. I should note at the beginning that this is not a makeup summer essentials video. This is just like summer essential products in general, not just specifically makeup. I actually only have one makeup product in my little pile here. Most of it is just random things that I like to incorporate or already have incorporated into my routine that I use especially during the summer or that I definitely need during the summer so let's get right into this I think that I will just start with the makeup product and get that over with it's going to be an obvious one but it is liquid illuminizers I love to add as much glow as possible into my skin during the summer I love a glowy finish all year round but in the summertime I have an excuse to really amp up that glow to like the next level so highlighters are an obvious one but I love to really incorporate a liquid luminizer whether underneath my foundation or included like mixed in with my foundation. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow, the Josie Marin Liquid Illuminizer. I'm absolutely loving this right now. I just picked it up. I've used it a few times, but I'm really, really loving it. And if you want to see it in action, you can watch my last video that I posted. I'll link it down below. I also have the Becca Moonstone Shimmering Skin Perfector and the MAC Strobe Cream. Love these all equally. The luminizers with more of a bronze finish, I tend to gravitate towards most in the summertime, but I'm not always self-tanned. So that's when I like to go for my more pale ones like the MAC Strobe Cream. So love illuminizers in the summertime. For hair products, I tend to get very lazy and really just like to amp up the volume, give it a beachy little spritz or wave or whatever, and let it sit for days at a time. Dry shampoo is my best friend, but it's always my best friend. So I thought I'd take you through the products that I use to really amp up the volume. The first one is the product I've had the longest. It's the Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Hairspray. I use this when my hair is damp and I spritz it just into the roots and scrunch it up a little bit. And then I go in with my blow dryer and it just really adds a lot more volume in the roots. I really love this product. For all over the hair volume and thickness and texture, I use the Living Proof Style Lab Instant Texture Mist. I actually used this one today after I curled and blow dried my hair and it just added a lot of like texture and grittiness and like beachy waviness to the curls that I already do on a regular basis. You can use this when damp, but I feel like it gets a little bit too sticky for that, so I actually like to use this as a last step, and it just adds that scrunchy, beachy saltiness, like I'm a hippie who lives on a beach. Love this product. The last hair product is new to me, but I've been loving what I've been seeing from it. It actually came in the May Ipsy bag while I was gone, so when I came home, this was waiting for me in the mail. I was so surprised that this came in the Ipsy bag because it is huge. Like, they actually sent a full-sized hair product. It is the Oscar Blandy Blondie, Blandy, uh, hair lift, thickening and strengthening mousse. I love using mousse in the summertime. I tend to just buy a cheap, like three or four dollar one from the drugstore and use that. Use it for lazy days, use it in damp hair, scrunch up my hair, it adds a little bit of a wavy texturedness to it. But this one I've been using in the roots, like I do with the Bumble and Bumble one, but I feel like this really adds intense thickness to the roots and really helps to lift up your hair. And I'm really, really impressed with this product. I think it's so fabulous that we got it in the Ipsy bag. So next I'll talk about body care related products. I've already said to you guys before that I don't have a specific sunscreen for my face. During the summertime, I tend to just keep my face covered, which brings me to my next essential, which are hats. I've decided that I'm going to live in hats for the summertime. I don't want to get any wrinkles, I'm not even going to bother with putting any chemicals that can burn my skin on my face, and I am just going to cover my face entirely. I have this little hat, this is what Liam likes to call my Amish hat. This is one from Urban Outfitters. I have a large floppy hat that I got sent from Windsor Store. Love this color, this is actually the one I go to when I'm going outside and tanning my legs. Attempting to tan my legs. And I will just put this on and it actually covers my face and my shoulder and kind of chest area which tends to get burnt the fastest for me and then when I'm doing outdoorsy things I love to have my ball caps with me I have my San Francisco Giants hat that I got while we were in San Francisco and my Vancouver Canucks hat uh, go Canucks. Yeah, because I can like make my face darker with self tan or with bronzer, I'm not too concerned about putting it in the sun, so I will just pop a hat on it. For the rest of the body, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh yeah, you can. Yep. I went rafting yesterday and put sunscreen on my chest. I wore my ball cap and that was all good and protected, but definitely didn't even think about my arms and they are completely fried right now. <laughs> anyway, the sunscreen that I put elsewhere was the Neutrogena Beach Defense. SPF 30. This actually just magically showed up in my house. I don't even know where I got it from or who brought it to my house, but I didn't buy it, but I've been using it. <laughs> I will use a body SPF, no particular brand I don't care about. I'll buy like the 
Hawaiian tropic whatever anything and just slather my body in SPF and pray that I don't get burnt like I am right now. For self tan, the one that I have been loving recently is the Million Dollar Tan Tan Icon Extreme Dark Sunless Tanning Spray. This is a like spray oil. It is not a mousse. It's not a lotion. It's like a very nice oily texture. It dries really fast into the skin. I think it gives a beautiful self tan. I've been loving using this. Got it a few months ago and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to self tan. I'm not really into purchasing perfumes. I tend to get them as gifts for Christmas or my birthday. I've actually never purchased a perfume in my life because I find them way too expensive. But the one perfume that I will buy is from Bath & Body Works because they are very reasonably priced. I think it's $27 for this guy. I love the scent Pink Chiffon. It's very fruity and lovely. Mm -mm -mm. This scent to me is just very summertime and I love smelling like a big basket of fruity goodness. Uh, I also really love their body mist. I like the Hawaiian one, Hawaii. I had a limited edition one once called Bali Mango and that was beautiful. Yeah, any of their fragrance mists that smell fruity and summery I'm a big fan of. You might think that my last body care related product is very random, and it is, but I thought that I would take a trip down that TMI route and tell you about it anyway. It's the Playtex Personal Wipes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but my body doesn't respond well to heat. I sweat a lot out of every single pore around my body. And you know what? Sometimes I don't have time to hop in the shower in the middle of the day or at 2 in the afternoon. And when that time comes, I like to have these with me. Sorry if that's a little bit too TMI for y'all. But uh, I really like these ones because they smell delicious. Some of them aren't scented or have a weird chemical-y smell. But this one smells like fruity heaven, as do the all always brand ones. They smell really good. They make you smell really nice. So the next summer essential that is essential for me during the summertime. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> they are my Arnett sunglasses and the reason why these sunglasses in particular are essential for me is because they are polarized. And polarized is something that helps you actually see out of your eyeballs in the sunlight. I cannot drive without these in the summertime. In the wintertime too because Calgary is very sunny in the winter and it reflects off the snow and it blinds you. So I pretty much need these all year round. But in the summertime, especially when you're spending more time outside in the sunlight, in intense sunlight, I need to have polarized sunglasses with me. These were a birthday gift to me about two years ago from Liam. Thanks honey. And I am definitely looking to get another pair of polarized sunglasses because they are essential for me. If you're blind, I definitely recommend getting some polarized sunglasses. My next essential is a book. Summertime to me is the perfect time to sit back, relax, soak in the sunlight, and enjoy a good book. Now a little summer tradition I have with myself is that I reread Harry Potter every summer. The whole series, I don't know why, I just love Harry Potter. I love taking myself back into that magical land. But this year I've actually been quite busy and I don't even think I'll have time to reread all of Harry Potter because I was gone for the month of May. I still have homework left over from those spring courses and then I'm gonna be starting a summer course in July and August. So I think this summer I'm just gonna be continuing reading my Game of Thrones. I'm purposely taking it slowly because the, the next books in this series don't exist and I don't want to be all sad and depressed when it's over so I'm taking my damn sweet time reading these ones but I definitely love to have a novel on the go during the summer just because the summertime, the sun, it just makes me want to read. I don't know why. So my final summer essential is something that you cannot see at this particular moment and it is because it is very large and it is currently situated in my bedroom right now and that is my fan. Now I am not one of those lucky people out there like some of y'all who has air conditioning in my home and I think that I would actually melt and die if I did not have a fan on my face all day and at night when I need to go to sleep. Like I said before, I'm a very sweaty person. I get very overheated. Perhaps I'll get heat stroke. Who knows? Regardless, a fan for me is absolutely 100% essential during the summertime because it keeps me cool, it keeps the wind blowing on me, and you can have a little Beyonce moment at any moment that you choose. So yeah, fans. Essential. So those are all of my summer essentials. Products, random things, body things, windy things, good smelling things, all of the things that I find essential to me for the summertime. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your summer essentials are. I'd love to hear about the things that are necessary for you during these hot and sweaty summer months. If you would like to know anything about what I am wearing on my face or body or anything I have mentioned, please check out the description box down below. All of that info 
is listed down there along with all of my social media links if you would like to come chat with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from Waski. Thank you so much for watching this video everyone and I will see you in my next one. Bye!